So uh, cordage is easy. You always want, besides what's in your pitch kit, you want some extra cordage. You should always have, as part of your first line gear, uh, about 12 feet of paracord on you. Um, you can make it in the form of this bracelet, which would be this month, month's craft. Just make a quick release. But maybe just throw a hank of paracord in your, in your bag. Have, um, you know, about 60 feet of paracord. This is about 50 feet, just hanked up. Alternatives to paracord uh, would be uh, bank line. This is number 36 bank line. That's a one pound or that's a quarter pound roll. I forget how many feet are on there, but that's excessive. I mean, it's light, but are you going to need that much cord? Probably not. A couple hanks of paracord in the bottom of your pack. You should be set for everything. You could also um, get some flat rope. This is sometimes called tape. I think I've got about 80 feet of uh, 1,500 pound test flat tape here in bright orange. Sometimes that goes in. Just having extra cord for different things. I could take a little roll of jute uh, or twine. This is great because it has the added, benef uh, the added um, benefit of being used for fire tinder. It's also biodegradable, so if you're using this to make some bushcraft items and you don't retrieve all of it, you don't have to feel too guilty because it won't last over the winter. You could take little buttons of cord and just throw them in your pocket, a little micro cord. Uh, this is the little Kevlar in orange, um, bright micro cord. So I've got about 50 feet of extra cord on this. And then besides extra cordage, um, taking a roll or two of Gorilla Tape or duct tape or, or orange uh, signaling tape is a really good idea. Although when we get to the salt needle, I typically recommend um, keeping a, a roll of some tape around your uh, either rip spool or in your first aid kit. So this is just extra binding. Just always have some extra cordage with you. You may break that down into 60 feet of paracord or bank line and then uh, and or four or five 12 foot sections of paracord might be easier because then you can use them for in different configurations and if you need a longer line you could tie them together and get your your longer uh, line so the cordage you have in your kit or you've, par you've you've planned out for dedicated use is one thing but having a little extra cordage is always a good idea also with cordage besides the extra paracord it's always a good idea to have your buddy line on you here's um, about 20 feet of woven uh, tape, right, or um, what, do they, what do they call this? Webbing, yeah, tubing, tub, tubular webbing, but welded flat. And I've got this set up so I can unwind it really quick, and I keep that with a, a carabiner. So many uses for this. Our main UV option uh, for that is our buddy line, which has an eyelet tied at one end, stopper not at the other, 24 feet of, uh, this is Kevlar, of brightly colored cord that I can use with everybody else in the group or pod to make longer lines. For a, a bigger group, third line, you might want to bring an actual uh, coil of heavy rope uh, that you can use for shelter building, um, bushcrafting, rescue, uh, bear bagging, all sorts of uses for rope, but not everybody needs to carry a big heavy chunk of rope. Your buddy line and or uh, your extra paracord and you should be all set. Whew.